Hi, my name is Rose and today I wanted to show you how I make scalloped potatoes with ham. Um, we're going to, I'm going to be adding some cheese in there so they're going to be cheesy and so they have enough substance in them to make them for a meal instead of a side dish. And um, so you can take them to a potluck or you can have them for dinner and there, there'll be lots of leftovers because I'm going to make them in a, in a 9 by 13 inch pan. If you want to cut the recipe in half, then go for it. So let's get started and look at the um, ingredients. We have four tablespoons of, you can use butter or margarine. We have one medium onion, diced one clove of garlic, minced, three tablespoons of flour, three and a half cups of milk, two cups of cheddar cheese, two cups of ham. I just used leftover ham. You can use turkey ham too if you like. And I have eight medium potatoes. We have some garlic salt, and pepper and we also have a little paprika to sprinkle on the top if you like. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 350 and then I'm going to make a white sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the oven on and melt the butter. Now I like to slightly saute the onions. We've got lots of onions for lots of flavor. Now before they begin to soften, I add the garlic, about one big clove of garlic. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit and I'm going to add the flour. And stir that around a little and cook that in there about a minute or less just until it's well absorbed. Now I'm going to gradually add the milk until before it starts to thicken then I will add the cheese. You want to make sure that you don't chop your potatoes until you're ready to use them or they turn brown. So as soon as that starts to get a little thicker, just add some more milk. Add the rest of the milk. Now just before it starts to thicken is when you want to add the cheese. So let's see, we'll add the cheese now and let that melt. Here, now we have a nice tasty white sauce. Now you set this aside, take it off the burner and we'll begin our um, slicing the potatoes. I want to coat the pan with some vegetable oil so it doesn't stick. And I'll start chopping. I've, I've scrubbed these potatoes and with a vegetable scrubber and I've taken off little pieces that I don't want to use that were, you know, have little spots. I want to chop these nice and thin. I want to chop half of the potatoes and then layer them on the bottom and then spice them up a little and then I'll put some ham in the little sauce and then I'll make another layer. So let's put our first layer here. You just want to arrange them on the bottom. One layer of sliced potatoes. Okay. 
Now after I've sliced half of the potatoes, I want, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt. Get some more flavor. And just a little bit of pepper. It's easy to overdo the pepper, so, and it'll be too hot tasting, so. After I've spiced that, I'll put half of the ham Sprinkle that on top. And then I'll cover that with the sauce, the melted cheese sauce. Half of the cheese sauce over there. Now this will thicken naturally because of the potatoes. So you don't want this sauce to get thick before you put it on there because of the, the potatoes will are like a thickening agent too. So there we go. That's the first layer. Now we're going to repeat and slice the rest of the potatoes. Remember you don't want to slice your potatoes ahead of time unless you put them in cold water or they will brown. Begin our another layer of potatoes. Now we'll sprinkle the ham on top of that last layer of potatoes. Whoops, I forgot to put the spices on, but that won't be a problem. I'll just put them on right now. A little garlic salt. A little pepper. And the cheese sauce. Let's pour that over there. Now I'm going to top it with a little bit of paprika. You can omit this if you like, but it looks pretty and adds a little more flavor. So we'll bake this for one hour, covered with foil, and about 20 minutes uncovered in, a, in an oven of 350 degrees. Okay, the scalloped potatoes are done, and they were bubbling when I first took them out, and here they are. They're nice and hot. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as my family does. Thank you for watching.